You see, like, I got this purple rain shirt. I got purple lipstick. Aren't I cool? Hey, y'all. If you want to see me take this failed wash and go that's dry and matted and transform it into this luscious twist out perfect for any summer day, stay tuned for the full video. Hey y'all, Nappy Valley here coming to you today with another video. So today we're going to go into my summertime twist out routine using Miel's um, pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner and the curl smoothie. I will also be reviewing these products as I'm doing the twist out. So let's get into the video. Okay, as you can see, my hair is slightly damp. It's not drenched, but it is pretty hydrated and I'm just putting it up so I can start my twisting method. Okay, so we have the leave-in. I'm just showing off right here. It comes with like a little pump, so it's easy application. The product smells very sweet but the smell isn't overpowering and it doesn't smell like alcohol. The consistency of the product is kind of in between a gel and a cream. It's not too creamy, but it's not too jelly. And it's, a translu it's very translucent. So I'm just going to apply it to my wet hair. And this leave-in claims to prime and define. This is supposed to be for every hair type and it's supposed to be a moisturizing sealant and cuticle smoother for long lasting curl definition. Um, as you can see, I don't think my curls are defining well with this product, but it is, my hair seems to be absorbing it. Um, there isn't a lot of product buildup and it's like going into my hair. On the bottle, it does claim that it would have better definition for people with finer textures and I definitely do not have fine textures, so I kind of understand why my hair is not defining. I also have a list of the first five ingredients of the product in my description box. Now we have the curl smoothie. It also comes in the applicator bottle with a pump and I broke mine. So it didn't come in the mail like that. I, I've been using it and I, I broke it. So we're just going to go with it. So as you can see, the consistency is very creamy, more creamier than the leave-in. And it also isn't translucent like the leave-in. And this product claims to provide soft definition for weightless curls, adding shine and preventing frizz. So the product has great slip, like my hair, it's easy to apply it to my hair, it's not too thick, but I do notice that my hair isn't really absorbing the product. As you can see, there's a slight white film over top of my hair. And I don't think it's really defining my hair. I don't think it's adding shine. And I don't think that without twisting it up, it would reduce frizz, but it does make my hair feel soft and it does smell well. So right now I'm about to section my hair so that I can start twisting. So this is my shea butter mixture. This is completely optional. Um, this is basically my oil and as you can see, the consistency turns out to be an oil. And I just basically seal everything in. Um, it also makes my hair a little bit shiny and it makes it look, have that like luscious hydrating look after everything is all dried and done. As you can see, I'm like working the, the butter into my hair. And I just basically do that all the way to the top of my strand. And then once I feel like everything, every hair is coated, I start twisting. And then that's basically it. I just twist and then I start on my other section.
I'm done the first section as you can see and I'm basically going to twist the rest of my hair off camera and I will show you the final results. In hindsight, I probably would have done smaller twists in the back, but it's too late now. It still looks cute, so that's all that matters. The close up, y'all can really see the product build up, but I assure you that most of it's gonna go away once my hair dries. Now for the most important part, we got to make sure our hair is protected while we're sleeping. So I'm just using a scarf and I am going to tie my hair up and just kind of like keep it out my face and just make sure it stays in place now all we do is just wait for my hair to dry and i'll come back when it's all ready and done so this is about two to three days later my hair finally dried and this is kind of what it's looking like not very promising i'm not gonna lie looking at this footage right now but let's see what the twist out looks like once I take it out. I don't know if you can tell, but the part of my hair that was in the twist is fairly defined. But the part of my hair that wasn't in the twist is very frizzy and it looks like I did nothing to it. I think the frizziness of my roots might be due to the fact that the part was too big but also because maybe the products were a little too light for my hair so anything that wasn't like sealed away might have lost the moisture i do know like over time with low porosity hair or lower porosity hair your hair will absorb products and water um but i think because my roots weren't like, I guess, in the twist tucked away. The hair that was in it, sorry, the moisture and product that was in it just evaporated out. So I'm just gonna untwist the rest of my hair and we're just gonna see what we're looking with. Something I do want to note um, is that the front of my hair, the roots don't look as fuzzy as the back of my hair. And I think that's because the front of my hair has a higher porosity than the back of my hair. So although the roots weren't tucked away in a twist, the water and product didn't evaporate because it got, because it got into the hair shaft in the front of my hair as opposed in the back of my hair where they didn't absorb as well. And this is the final result. I know it was looking a little scary there for a second, but it didn't come out that bad. My hair became out defined, especially in the front, maybe not so much in the back, and my hair feels super soft and hydrated. I do, however, feel like this style won't last probably longer than three days, but it is cute, it is defined, especially in the front, and I'm not mad at the results. I do also want to note that my hair feels very lightweight and very fluffy and I can say that that's one thing the product was not lying on. Your hair will feel very lightweight and very fluffy. Okay, so I just had a couple of thoughts that I wanted to talk about the leave-in and the curl smoothie. So for the leave-in, I actually kind of liked it. Although my hair didn't absorb it as much or my hair absorbed it, but my hair wasn't as defined 
as like it probably could have been with a defining leave-in and it and it even says on the packaging that it will be more defining for people with finer curl textures than like coarser hair textures and i definitely have a coarser hair texture so i'm okay with it um I like the size of the leave-in because I feel like people be giving us like little tiny bits of leave-in and so I would definitely buy this product again um, I felt like it was very moisturizing it just didn't define and that's really the only issue so yes definitely a I wouldn't say staple but a definite go-to if I didn't know what else to buy I would get this for the curl smoothie I will probably not buy this again. This is definitely, definitely, definitely for people who have finer hair textures. Um, again, my hair did not define at all whatsoever. It was kind of moisturizing. Like my hair is definitely soft. And I would say pretty moisturized, but I know that it's not gonna last as long as if I used the twisting butter. I don't know why I didn't buy the twisting butter. I kind of regret not buying the twisting butter, but this is definitely for people who have um, like looser curls, finer curls, and like a lightweight product. I like a heavy product. So I'm not gonna buy this again, but if you need lightweight, this, this would be pretty good. And I do know some people were talking about how this line that she has is for I guess people with high porosity and then the rice water line is for people who have low porosity um that could be true because again my hair didn't absorb the product as much it absorbed this one more than sorry it absorbed the leave-in more than it absorbed the curl smoothie so like there's like little flakes at the end of my hair like where did i see some i don't know if you can see it you can't see it but it's not important but yeah there was like a little bit of flakage not a lot i would not say that the curl smoothie is the most absorbent type of product it definitely lays on top that's that's definitely true i don't know people with low porosity and have coarser hair textures and thicker hair textures this might not be the product for you this however the leave-in is much better I think it does a decent job of keeping moisture. It does, and it's big. So but that's really all I have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you like this type of content. And stay tuned for my next video next week.